In this video, I will introduce CSS3 both shadows, both the radius and rotate. So for the border shadow, we have several parameters here: inset, SF set, Y offset, blur radius, sphere radius, and color. This is the shadow color. In the rotate, we can use transform. This rotate and we can uh, specify how much degree here and about the border radius we have a top left top right bottom right bottom left so let's look at the code here so here we have very simple dip here dip class demo one test so let's define go to this the demo one class so we have demo one style here CS style so we can see here for the shadow I use the 3px or 3px is the little SF set Y offset blur radius and I use default then I just simply give a background color this width and height when we did not say anything here about just using the box shadow is default is the five box four plus four point zero plus Google Chrome ten point zero plus Opera ten point five plus and uh, Internet Explorer nine. So it default it should be okay. But if you really want to apply to all the browser when the old browser you for example five fox four point zero minus the under four point zero then you can put the uh, MOZ Mozilla MOZ box radios. If you have a uh, old version of a uh, Safari and a uh, Google Chrome with them under 10 point 10 wo version 10, you can add the web kit here. But normally this is fine. Just use the border shadow. So let's run this code. So you can see here. Uh, we have a box here and we are shadow so we have a this is the color I already said light blue this is ca shadow color use default so let's go back to the code so for example now I want to rotate it a little bit about this box so I use the transform to rotate it minus 5 degree so let's see what happened transform rotate so you can see here now it's rotated minus 5 degree you can see here this angle here minus 5 is this direction so let's say I want to add the border radius Before is the is the just uh, 90 degree. Now I want to have add the small radius. So I use the border top left radius, border top right radius, border bottom right radius, and also bottom border border left radius. I all of them are 10 ps. Yes. So let's run this code. So you can see here now this is corner become radius before it's 90 degree now it's become radius. So so in summary, we can use the box shadows to define a sh shadow or box, and we can also use transform. Then we can use rotate it to rotate the this the box. We can also use the border top left radius, border top right radius, border bottom right radius, and border bottom left radius to give the corners of the radius. Thanks for your watching.